after we have discussed it, hydrocarbon and we said this is a man of the hydrocarbon alkane is the, the hydrocarbon that contains a single covering bond between the carbon atom now this is a single bonded carbon atom a single a hydrocarbon this is hydrocarbon hydrocarbons i i can't a hydrocarbons with single bonded carbons single bonded carbons single bonded carbons means all of the bonds are occupied by other hydrogen atom or other carbons means if now you're talking about it, this one this one i don't know what kind of the choice i'm talking about if now you're talking about this one you mean it is a single bond the carbon and all of the bonds of the carbon are joined with the hydrogens because we're just talking about hydrocarbons if now we're talking about hydrocarbons we mean of hydrogen and carbon only if now you start, you find a hydrocarbons is made of a single bonded carbons means all of the carbons are joined with the single bonds just like this one here there is the hydrogen 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 hydrogens why is it so i say this carbon is a tetravalent element if now this carbon is a tetravalent element it must be revoked by four bonds but now we're talking about hydrocarbons we are just talking about carbon and hydrogen only so i can't these are hydrocarbons with single bonded carbon so this is the structural formula and it is an open structural formula but if now you want to write the molecular form i mean the the, the closed structural formula it only shows the arrangement of the atom and not the bonds now this to indicate that between the carbon and carbon there is a single bond if now there is a single bond this is to say we have ch3 then we have ch3 means we have written 1 plus 3 we have four bonds and then 1 plus 3 we have four bonds to meet the principle that uh, carbon is a tetravalent element this is the closed structural formula and this is an open structural formula so alkane is the hydrocarbon alkane the hydrocarbon with a single bonded carbon means carbon to carbon are joined with a single bonds kwao carbon ipenda kwenye carbon zimeunganishwa na single bonds hiyo ni alkane and alkane forms alkane this alkane forms homologous series homologous series that is the point to remember but by definition alkanes are hydrocarbon with a single bonded carbons and i've written an example here the same applied this is ethane because we have two carbons it is f but because we are just talking about alkane we just say ethane but once you have c you have this one c c c now we want to form it alkane we join this carbon atom with the single bonds then for this one we have joined with one atom i mean one bond 
So we have left with three bonds. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. But this one, this carbon, is joined with two bonds. One bond on the other side, and the other bond on the other side. If now that is the case, it's very interesting. We have left with two bonds. To satisfy the condition that carbon is a tetravalent element. The same applied to this one, it has been joined by two bonds on the other sides, on the other both sides. We have one side bond, one bond, on the other side we have one bond. Now we have left with two bonds to fill that it is a tetravalent element. But when you look at this carbon now here, it is only joined by one bond. So to meet it is condition of being a tetravalent element, now we have left with the three hydrogen. So this is the hydrogen here, hydrogen here, hydrogen here. Kolazima uzingatie, you have to consider kwamba this is a tetravalent element. Kwamba imeunganishwa na bond inne. Kwa kama imeunganishwa na mbili huku zizobaki ni mbili. It is therefore, this is an open structural formula. This is an open structural formula. If now you want to make it a condensed structural formula, this is the CH3, then this is CH2, because there are two here, and then we have CH2, and then we have CH3. If you can write it CH3, then CH2, then CH2, then CH3. This and this one, the same, same thing. So this is the, a hydrocarbon with the four carbons. Hydrocarbon with the four carbons. Now the hydrocarbons with the four carbons, it is called, the, it is parent name, it is root name, we said this is the but. Because we are just talking about it, alkane, we say butane. So in short, we say alkanes are hydrocarbon with single bonded carbons. Even if now you just want to write the big one. Example, now you're talking about with six carbon, six carbons, six carbons, six carbons, six carbons, one, then one, two, three, four, five, then six carbons. Join with single bonds. This is alkane already. Because the carbons are joined with single bond. If now the carbons are joined with single bonds, now we want to fulfill the conditions of the tetravalent element carbon. Now here, we have one. One, two, three, four. Then here, then here, then here, then here, then here. That is simple. So this is the hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. So in short, we have CH3, we have CH2, we have CH2, we have CH2. We have CH2, we have CH3. So we have one, two, three, four. We may write in short, we have CH3, then we have CH2, but one, two, three, four. There are four of them, then CH3. This is possible because there are four of them. Four, this one, light terms. We call them light terms. These are light terms. So you may short it, make it in a short term data. This is abbreviated as this one. There are four CH2. So this is alkane. So alkane is a hydrocarbon with a single bond, maybe carbons. Means these carbons are joined with a single bonds. That is alkane. And naming of alkane as I have introduced here, but I was giving you the direction how, why do we define it as a single bonded carbon? So that is the first thing that to understand. Now, what is the general formula for alkane? The general formula for alkane, the general formula for alkane, you talking about it? Alkane. 
it is C N H two N plus two. This is the general formula. As I told you, the general formula is used to calculate the number of the atoms which are found in the molecules. When we were discussing about uh, common terms, we discuss about the general formula. So for every hydrocarbon has got it is all in the general formula. Now the general formula for the carbon, now this N indicates where N, this is number of carbons. This is number of carbons. Now, if now you're talking about it, the alkane with carbon, number of carbon is equal to one. That is C, where there is N, you, have, you substitute one. Now, C, one. Hydrogen, we just have two times one plus two. The, according to the board mass, we just have C, one, hydrogen two times one plus this one, we get it four. And that is why for the alkane with single carbon, we write as C, H, four. This is a molecular formula. This is a molecular formula. It is structural formula is C, H, then H, then H, then H. This is the open structural formula. But for the carbon, I mean for the alkane with two carbons, means N is equal to two. It is now C, where there is it, N, you put two. Then H, it is two, multiplied by two, plus two. It is there for now we say, it is C2, H, two by two is four plus this one, six. Now, this, this is methane. Now, this is ethane, with two carbons. Now, it is molecular formula, is C2, H, six. It is structural formula, it's very simple, it has got two carbons. Now, one, one. Because it is an alkane, it is, those carbons are joined with a single bond. It is there for now, we have here hydrogen, 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 we have here hydrogen. So in short, we have three hydrogens, and the other side we have three hydrogens. Now this is the structural formula for ethane. But a molecular formula for ethane, here it is. And it is calculated by using the general formula, here it is. What if now you're talking about a carbon? I mean, a, 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 we're talking about alkane with five bonds, with five carbons, sorry, with five carbons. Now N is equal to five. Then from the general formula, we have C, then we have five. Then H, it is two times five plus two. Five indicates, I mean, N indicates the number of carbons. It is therefore, from here, we have C, five, then we have H, it is 10, becomes 12. This is the molecular formula for the alkane with five carbons. And alkane with five carbons, we call it pens. Then, because we're talking about alkane, we say pentane. And you may write it as structural formula by the simple way. Because we're just talking about alkane, it joins with the single bonds. Now, carbons are joined with the single bonds. Now, carbon, 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 carbon. One, two, three, four. This is carbon. Then, carbons are joined with the single bonds. Then by following the principle, this is joined by the single bond. Now it lacks what we call three of them. Then the same apply to this one, the same apply to this one, the same apply to this one. Then here, three of them. It is therefore now we have hydrogen, H, 
hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. So you you may light even the alkani with ten carbons because the only principle that alkan and carbons are joined with single bonds. Now this in short, this is CH3, then CH2, then CH2, then CH2, then CH3. It is the, this is the structural formula for what we call it pentane. And this is the molecular formula for what we call it pentane. And this is an open structural formula. Why is it open structural formula? I said it shows all the arrangement of the atoms and together with the bonds. But this shows only the arrangement of the atoms, not the bonds. The bonds are not there. If now the bonds are not there, what we are just talking about is what we call it a pentane as a closed structural formula. And this is pentane with an open structural formula. So this is what all about the, what we call it the general formula. So we have methane, we can write. We have pentane, we can write. You know, we're talking about hexane, you can write it. And uh, you can write isomers for these elements. This is the example about hexane. This is an alkane with six carbons. Let us see how we can write it as molecular formula. Remember, molecular formula is written from the general formula. Now, when we talk about hexane, from the root name, hex means it is a, it, to define this one, first of all, it is called an alkane. Why is it? By looking at this primary suffix. The way that is added after the root name indicates now you're talking about alkane. That is the one. Kwamba, naijua to alkane kwa sababu ya A and E. Ina ito alkane. Then, how many carbon atoms are there? Because of this hex. Means it is a Greek number. Six. Now here, N is equal to six. Number of carbons are six. Since N of, number of carbons are six, it is very simple now for us to understand. Now, from the general formula of alkane, we have CN H2N plus two. Means, where there is N, you put six. Now we have C, now you put C, six. Hydrogen, it is two by six plus two. Now this is C, six. Hydrogen, it is 12 plus two. Now it is 14. So this is the molecular formula for hexane. Then once I just want, I've written the molecular formula. Now from the molecular formula, let me write the isomers of this molecular formula. As I said, when we are discussing about the common terms, the isomers, these are the compounds that have got different structural formula but the molecular formula is the same. Now, this can be written. One, C, 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 C. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then, we have three here. We have two 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 here. Have two here. This is the structural formula. That is the first one. But also, you may write this one in different ways. Example, you may take this one. Therefore, you, you write here CH2, now CH3, sorry, this CH3. Then CH3 can be written here. You can make a substrate here, C. Konezu kaitua hiya hapa, ukaiweka hapa, chin. You may take this as a substance. Then you move it. Once you move it, you connect it by a single bond. Then you keep on this one. C, then CH2, then here CH2, then here CH3. But the one that you have removed, you have taken to this one. 
to make up the substance. But now carbon, carbon, carbon is attached to three of them. Now you cannot write here two. Because about these are two bonds. Two hydrogen means these are two bonds. If now you add up three, it becomes five. Kokiongeza, if the hydrogen in bill kiweka hapa, tayari na manisha bond in bill. Ukiongeza this tattoo is nazim. Ko inatakiwa yue pomoja. Now we have one, two, three, plus hydrogen as a bond, you call it here, five, four. Then, here, you may shikiri wana bondi, ngapi, moja, cause na ungeze katatu. Means what? The hydrogen that was existing here, it has been taken to this one. Kwa hapa zikuwa mbili, kwa hydrogen ambao nimeitua hapa, imekuja kuka hapa. That is why, here, we have, hmm, 14 hydrogen. But also here, we have 14 hydrogen. 6, 7, 9, 11, 14. Also, you may take this one. Other substance, you may write it here. Then it becomes CH3. Then here, you have C, then carbon. Here carbon, also here carbon. Therefore, then... Because you have taken this as a substance, here it is. And this is a substance, CH3. Then, here CH3 also. Why is it so? Because this carbon is attached to the single bond. Now, it needs other three bonds. Therefore, we have this is CH3, then CH2, then we have CH3. Now, this also is then an isomer. So we have this one, we have this one, we have this one. So, even if you count the number of hydrogens that are here, we have 60, then 9, 11, then 14. But what you have to consider, carbon is a tetravalent element. So, you may write even this one, you may write as you wish. But you have to consider that uh, carbon is a tetravalent element. If carbon is a tetravalent element, it must be revolved by four bonds. In any means, it must be revolved by four bonds. So this is how we do it. Now that is all about it, a general formula for the alkane. Now let us see naming of alkane. Naming of alkane. Alkane. First of all, we have named from the hydrocarbon concepts that are, one, we have root name. And the second, we have primary suffix. Primary suffix, this is the way added to it. Therefore, if now we may start, we say, now, if now you're talking about let us use the, 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 the table here. Number of carbons. As I say, the one that have got one carbon, it is called, it is root name, it's called meh. But because of alkane, we call it methane. And it is molecular formula. Molecular formula. It is molecular formula will be equal to CH4. According to the general formula, CN H2N plus 2. But if now you're talking about it, then Number of carbons are of two. We mean of ethane. And then ethane, number of carbons are of two. Now we have C2, then two times two, it is four. Plus this one, we have 86. So we have ethane, then we have propane with three carbons. Then we have butane, as I said, we have butano with four carbons. 
five carbons we have pentane. Then we say this one up to four. These are special root words. Therefore, we have six hectane. We have seven, that is heptane. We have eight, that is octane. And so forth. If now you're talking about heptane, means the, the molecular form of heptane means carbon are seven. Then, two times seven, 14, plus two, we have 16. This is the molecular formula. This, you can write it in structural formula. Very simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because we're just talking about alkan, it joins by single bonds. Then, here we have three, we have two, then 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 we have three. This is the structural formula for this heptane. You may like the isomers as you wish. So, naming of alkanes in a simple way. The one with one carbon, methane. Two carbons, ethane. Three carbons, propane. Four carbons, butane. Five carbons, pentane. Six carbons, hexane. Seven carbons, heptane. Then eight of tan, then nonani, then they can. So, so, this is how we name them. But not only name in that way, we have how to name those blanched ones. We will discuss about those things.